This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see what I'm analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the bad actors are down a hundred and seventy five billion dollars. Yes, billion with a B. And last month it was a hundred and forty five billion. So they added another thirty billion dollars to their losses <laughs> from naked shorting AMC, naked shorting GME and shorting a whole bunch of other stocks. The shorters are down a hundred and seventy five billion. And here's the thing. They want us to believe that they can do this forever. They cannot do it forever, and they are in trouble. You hear me? They are in trouble. All, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. That's not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is this. The banks are holding on by their fingernails. The prime brokers are hanging on by their fingernails. Certain market makers are hanging on by their fingernails. So, as the liquidity dries up and these billions in losses keep piling up, what is the end game? What is the end game? The end game is they have to cover their AMC shorts. They have to cover their GME shorts. They don't have to cover their M-U-L-N shorts. And when they do, AMC, GME, M-U-L-N could go to the moon. And we will see some of the big dogs go down. They are done. And, and here's the thing. They will shut down. And in a month or two, they'll probably open up a, a new fund with new investors and do the same thing all over again. And you know why? Because the SEC doesn't do their job. The SEC works hand in hand with these bad actors. There's nothing you can say to tell me any different. Everything I've seen over the last 30 months tell me that these guys are in cahoots together. And that is the bottom line. Because after robbing and stealing from retail investors for 30 months and longer than that, because if you look back at, at the firms that were charged for naked shorting 10, 15 years ago, this is an ongoing problem. The SEC claims that it doesn't happen, yet they're fining people for doing what they say doesn't happen. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely illogical. But when you're down $175 billion, you can't try to tell me that you could keep doing this forever. The bad actors liquidity is almost gone. And when that reverse repo goes under 600 for more than a week, we're going to see major, major problems with the stock market. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.